Number 12 on page 525. Okay, how many six letter arrangements can you make using all of the letters A, B, C, D, E, and F without repetition? Now notice each of these letters is different. Um, we can't repeat it. And then of these, how many begin and end with a consonant? Um, okay, so if we take a look, I have one, two, three, four consonants. I have six, six letters. and four consonants. Okay, so let's take a look at this. One, two, three, four, five, six places. Um, beginning and end with a consonant. So that would be B, C, D, F, which would be um, four possibilities, four choices, right? And then the, the end would be um, uh, basically there are three consonants left. Because we can't repeat, which would be three. And in between, we would have four factorial choices. Four factorial choices. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yep, so had two. So here would be four factorial. So here we have four choices. And at the end, we have three choices. So the total number of arrangements would be four times four factorial times three, which would turn out to be 288. Okay, so hopefully that makes sense. Jody is parking seven different types. Now these are different types of vehicles. Let's just highlight that different types of vehicles side by side facing the display window at the dealership where she works. In how many ways can she park the vehicles? Well, that's easy. That is seven factorial, which is equal to 5,040 ways. In how many ways can she park them so that the pickup truck is next to the hybrid car. Okay, so we have seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. The first one is the truck, and the second one could be the hybrid. These two would be two factorial. They can be switched around, but they can move around anywhere within this line. So that these are different vehicles, one, two, three, four, five, six factorial. So what I have now is the number of ways is two factorial times six factorial, which turns out to be 1,440 ways. Okay, for C, uh, the number of ways can she park from the convertible is not next to the subcompact. Well, all we have to do is take a look at the total arrangements, the total ways. Minus the number of ways two vehicles can be parked together. So what we have 
is 5040 minus 1440, which turns out to be 3,600 ways. Nineteen. Nineteen is on page five twenty six. How many integers from three thousand to eight thousand nine hundred ninety nine inclusive contain no sevens? Well, notice from this case, there is no one, no two, no seven, and um, at the start and no nine. So if we take a look, there are four digits. So one, two, three, four digits. And the first digit has the possibility of three, four, five, six, or eight. This can include 9,000. So there are possibility of one, two, three, four, five possibilities. The second digit has digits from zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, eight, and nine. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, nine possibilities. This one will also have nine possibilities for our third digit. The last um, digit. has also nine possibilities. It can't be a seven. So the total number of ways is five times nine times nine times nine, which turns out to be 3,645 integers. can be created. Okay. Now, let's take a look at question 20. Question 20 is on page 526. Postal codes in Canada consist of three letters. And I just need you to remember there are 26 letters in the alphabet. and three digits, and there are a total of 10 digits in our number system, zero to nine. Letters and digits are alternate, as in the code R7B5K1. How many different postal codes are possible with this format? Okay, well, we have six, one, two, three, four, five, six. And we have a letter, a number, a letter, a number, a letter, and a number. So for the letter, we have 26 possibilities. Nine, 26, nine. Sorry, no, there are 10 digits. What am I thinking? Thinking back to the previous question. 10, 10, 26, and 10. So we just multiply equals a total of 17,576,000 different codes. OK, 
Okay. So the next question is, do you think Canada will run out of postal codes? Why or why not? Well, I think maybe. I would say yes. Canada will eventually exceed 15.5 million postal communities. Was our population increasing? You bet. Postal communities, small towns and cities and neighborhoods, etc. Okay, that's it for 8.2.